Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been an extremely lonely and isolating time on my channel because I've been MIA for weeks. I didn't think it'd be this long because I've had a video to post and it's been waiting for approval by the brand for a while now so I didn't expect to have this much of a time gap from when I was posting last but this is how it ended up so I'm sorry. But I'm back and I've honestly just been spending so much time off of social media and like I don't know. I've been MIA, but also it was Zeke's first birthday. I've just been very present in my life and like, I don't know. I just needed, needed, needed some time off, but I'm hoping this will get me back into the swing of things and back to posting for you guys and just like recording my everyday life because I know that's like what you guys want to see. And I know I had like a little rant about this in one of my, my recent videos and I'm not going to say that whole thing again, but hoping this gets me back into posting. I missed you guys. I have not stopped thinking about you guys. I literally think about filming a vlog every single day and I just don't end up doing it. It is Monday morning, so I thought this would be the perfect time to start. It's almost 9 a.m. Um, Keikoa just took Zeke and Rocco on a walk, so they're gone right now. I got to sleep in for like an hour or two because Keikoa just got back from a three-day shift yesterday. So mama was tired after a 72 hours by myself with Zeke. <clears throat> I'm making breakfast right now. A big thing I want to do in this vlog, because you guys love seeing the everyday things, is cleaning. Because this house is a disaster ever since his birthday. Um, there's literally just toys everywhere, just an overload of toys that I don't know what to do with. We have so much laundry to catch up on. So, welcome back to another mundane vlog. <laughs> Okay, I'm making some sourdough toast. I've been obsessing with cream cheese and preserves on top, like strawberry. Sausage and hash brown patty in the air fryer. So we're doing that. And I'm gonna make a quick little coffee. I've just been loving the Stoke cold brew and a little bit of creamer lately. This is what we've been into. And I love it because it's so easy. Sausages are done, they're like so puffy and it looks like they're gonna explode. So I'm gonna take those out. I'm gonna flip over my hash brown. Mm. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh, if you knew where I've been the past two hours <sighs> since I last filmed, it was looking for my freaking camera charger, camera battery charger. After I filmed that last clip, my camera died, of course, and I literally could not find my charger anywhere. I was looking anywhere and everywhere I could have put it. Um, mind you, I haven't needed my camera charger in three weeks, so it's been three weeks since I've even seen this thing. And then, right before Zeke's party, obviously we're cleaning up, decluttering, organizing and stuff. So I threw a bunch of random things in a bowl and shoved it in the pantry, and it finally just hit me where it was. So I found it, and I'm so, so happy. So I can finally vlog today again. I actually got really sad, because I was like, wow, I finally get the urge to vlog, and then this happens, of course. All is well. All is better. Zeke went down for a nap at like 9.30. It's now almost 11. Um, so he's been napping for quite a while, but I was planning on filming so much while he was napping, like cleaning and everything. Like I said, I was waiting for approval for a video to post, and I just got approval this morning, which is so exciting. So I just made a quick edit, and I'm literally about to press upload. So you guys would have seen it by now, but it's Rocco's morning routine, which strangely, so many people request like Rocco-themed videos. And I'm so excited to share this because first of all, working with PetSmart is such a cool opportunity because we use PetSmart for everything. We shop there for everything for Rocco. And secondly, it's like a voiceover style video, which is different for me, but I actually really, really enjoy doing it. So if you like that style of video, please let me know if you've watched it. If you haven't, I'll link it below for you so you can guys can go watch it. Yeah, it's fun to focus a video on Rocco too, because I get so many requests to do that, like ever since I was making videos of him when he was a puppy puppy. But now he's three, so there's an updated video for Rocco. But I'm about to upload that, and then I'm gonna get to cleaning and doing laundry and stuff, hopefully before Zeke wakes up. So, let's do it. It's 11.06. I was just about to start cleaning, but someone is squirmy worrying in here. Don't think we're gonna get to cleaning yet. I'm probably just gonna wait till Keiko gets home from the gym. I'm gonna make him a bottle really quickly. Since he is a little one-year-old toddler boy now, we're obviously transitioning off of formula. Um, but we still have a can with like this much left, so we're just like mixing into whole milk right now. And he gets like three bottles a day. Morning bottle's a bigger one with formula and whole milk. 
Second one is like after his first nap right now, but that'll just be a little bit of whole milk. And then third bottle is before bedtime, formula and whole milk. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. We've been trying to like give him more snacky stuff and actual food rather than bottles, especially because now he finally drinks out of straw cups and stuff. So he's definitely getting his like liquids in. Um, which is a huge relief because before he was not drinking out of straw lids, sippy cups, any of that stuff. So it was a little stressful, but we're good now. This is the whole milk we use. 100% grass-fed Maple Hill Organic. Yeah, there's so many milks on the market out there, but this is the one we choose to do. And we also can like only get it at Sprouts and we don't really shop at Sprouts, but now we do. He's still slowly waking up, so I'm just gonna head upstairs and grab him once he's awake. vlog for a long time he woke up so happy today guys some days he wakes up crying not today <laughs> <Evil Casey? laughs> his new favorite thing to do it's the cutest thing ever he literally just started doing it like two days ago randomly in the bath when my mom was here <laughs> he's still waking <laughs> up you and baba cold he got <laughs> silly boy he drank about an ounce and then he was over it. Oh, you just want to DJ over there? <coughs> yeah. I don't know if it's because he's not hungry because he doesn't want to drink the whole milk, but he's drank it before, so he's usually fine with it. But sometimes he just doesn't want to drink a bottle, and maybe that's just because he's starting to want real food. This whole like first time mom transitioning to toddler phase is a little harder than I thought it'd be. We're just going with the flow, huh? <laughs> Guys, in the past three weeks, three weeks that I haven't filmed, he has, he has changed so much. Last video I posted was the PetSmart one and he was army crawling. He's real crawling now, 100%. I don't even remember him army crawling anymore. He's standing up on everything. He's taking a few steps. Like he's just so, so different than the last time I walked. I love you. I love you. His golf clubs that he got for his birthday from Kiko are his favorite thing ever. He loves hitting the ball with them too. So he doesn't just hold the clubs, he actually golfs. Yeah. Since we didn't want to drink the milk, I just decided to give him a little snack. We just got these fruit and veggie pouches from Costco. And he really likes them. And he's just so cute. Ever since he's learned how to like eat out of a pouch. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I just love you. Okay, someone does not want me to put him down right now. So, we're making do with what we can do. Finally, finally splurged during Brooklinen's sale and got some of their towels because I've been wanting some of their towels for so long and they pricey, but of everything, quality like that is so worth it to me. And like quality over quantity, quality over quality equals, I mean, price equals quality in a lot of situations. And towels, I feel like, are just so worth it because the towels we have right now, I got at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, and they were amazing when I first bought them. And then with a few washes, they turned to absolute trash. So that's so sad. So I invested in some towels. I got the like navy striped ones and I think they're so cute. So I got four of these, which I need to fold and put upstairs. All these sheets are also clean right here. They just need to be put away because I've been a little behind on everything. And we're gonna catch up on laundry today, huh? And somehow we get so behind on laundry every single week and I don't understand how it's such like a constant thing can't learn how to stay on top of laundry so if you have any tips on how you guys stay on top of it and like i know people do like a load a day and whatever or like do laundry on certain days which i did at one point but then i just fell off of it and now it's super hard again so comment all your tips for not getting 70 loads behind every single week because i need help okay we're out running a couple errands we have to go to Sprouts to get some snacks and milk for Zeke. And we just went to the bank to get a check. And now we're at lunch. Uh-oh. Okay, we went to Sprouts. I'll give you a little haul when we get home. Also, don't mind all the trash. 
gross. I just realized there's a crumble right next to Sprouts, which we didn't know was there. We haven't had crumble in so long. So here's our little selection. Brownie batter, regular chocolate chip, old fashioned donut, which is really good. And then Chips Ahoy. The frosting on that one is so thick. We used to get crumble every single week. Well, I used to get it when I lived in my apartment. Literally, I lived alone in my apartment and would get a four pack of crumble every week delivered to me. What a life. But we stopped doing that because it was just getting out of hand. Also, I feel like they started to repeat the flavors after I started getting it for a while. So now we just try when we're craving or when there's good flavors. Okay, we're home. Here is the promised sprouts haul. We've got two things of steak so we can make steak tonight for dinner, which I'm excited about. Two potatoes, also for dinner. We've got a bunch of snacks. For Zeke, these are go-to. These little crackers because they're so easy to bring places to keep him occupied. These are the Earth's Best Organic Crunchy Sticks. Strawberry banana and garden veggie. And they were two for six, so I got two to try. These are the Cerebelli Smart Bars. Apple Kale. There's so many good things about these, and I know they sell them at Costco, I think, in like bigger packs. So if you like them, this will be good. The Amara Organic Smoothie Melts. Carrot Raspberry. Excited. I to try those. I needed orzo for some recipes and I haven't been able to find it at like Trader Joe's so got two, two of these because there was a buy one get one sale. And then I've been craving lemonade. Uncle Matt's organic no sugar added lemonade. So we with stevia and I don't usually love stevia so hopefully that's good. And then, hi! Some organic whole milk, whole milk yogurt for Zeke. This bag's right here. It's from Walmart from yesterday. I'm just gonna show you quickly what I got. A few things for Zeke for his Easter basket. Got a couple of books, Be My Friend, by the same people, Guess How Much I Love You, which we have. Peter Rabbit, the classic book. And then this one's really cute. It's a Precious Moments Little Book of Prayers. And it's so cute. My mom and I are looking through it. And I had to get it. I got him this little PJ set. Little milk and cookies. Little two piece. Two pairs of shorts. This is growing out of all his little shorts. So a little denim short and little brown khakis, which are both adorable. I'll say this every day, Walmart baby kids section over Target's any day. Walmart has such cute baby clothes and they had so many more, but I am waiting. Like he doesn't need any more clothes right now besides those I decided to get. Okay, Zeke's little snack thing is stocked now. Everything I just showed you, we have some puffs. These aren't our favorite. We love the Serenity Kids ones but i tried these out and obviously we're gonna finish them and what else was in here we also love these little yummy bars they're just really messy so we can't really take them many places or let him feed himself because they're so messy and then a bunch of serenity's kids pouches for easy on the go hi hello where you going excuse me sir uh so, Rocco has been a very Kelly, itchy. Rocco, come here. He's been a very itchy boy, and I've seen so many people talk about this brand called Pet Honesty. And they got the Skin Health Salmon. Improves a soft, shiny coat. Helps promote healthy skin. Vitamins for antioxidant support. For 75 pounds to 100 pounds. Three twos. Oh, it's 100. It's not 100. It's probably like 80 though. Rocco, you gonna treat? Gentle. It tastes like salmon. All right, guys. It is almost 4:30. We try to get Zeke down for a nap, and he did not want to nap at all. So we ended up just saying scratch that, and he took him on another walk in hopes that he'd fall asleep. So maybe he did. But I've been doing something I've been wanting to tackle for literally so long, and just have not had the motivation to do it because it's a very daunting task. So, got my lemonade, and it's actually really good. I can't taste the stevia in it, which is good. And I have been going through all of Zeke's old baby clothes, putting them into piles of sizes so that I can vacuum seal them before they've just all been thrown in his closet in like random plastic bins. But it's just taking up so much space because these bins take up a lot of space. So, I just did the first one. This is all zero to three month clothes. And look how perfect this works. I literally got this pack off of Amazon and I'll link them below because they're super, super good. 
Back in storage bags, it comes with 20 different bags in five different sizes. And then it comes with this little pump thing that you can vacuum the air out with. And you can use your own vacuum too, I think. But this works literally perfectly fine. So I'm so excited to have a little space saving. Look at what we're working with. I did not realize how many three to six month clothes we had. This is all three to six, but also like he wore three to six until he was like nine or 10 months, which is why his six to nine pile is so tiny because he like wore all this for so long. And that's all donate. That's all either clothes he never wore because they were gifted and not really <laughs> our style or clothes he did wear but have stains or um, are broken or ripped or buttons or whatever. And then that is all his newborn stuff. It's all just, it fits perfectly in this little bin, so I'm just gonna keep it in here. I'm probably not gonna vacuum seal it. <laughs> oh my gosh, looking at this makes me so sad because he was so tiny. He literally fit in preemie clothes. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna tackle this, which is gonna probably take a while because of them took kind of a while. I'm also watching Rachel's vlog right now. So let's do this. morning it is Tuesday now it's only 10 a.m. and I feel like I've lived a lifetime I don't know why I woke up at like 7 30 um, well got out of bed at 7 30 because Kiko stayed in bed I and mean, Kiko got up with Zeke at like 6 and then we went on a walk had some breakfast played a little now Zeke is napping Kiko's at the gym again and I'm doing laundry but when he gets back we're gonna go get coffee at a new place we've never tried which I'm so excited for I get so excited to try new coffee shops and then we also need to go drop off our rent check at our landlord's house that'll be fun but for now I was just laying on the couch for a while like so tired today and I woke up with kind of like a little ton of tiny bit of an itchy weird feeling throat and I just pray to the Lord I'm not getting sick. I'm actually trying out Armra Colostrum for the first time because I picked this up finally after seeing so many people use it and I'm really excited to see how this works and if it's gonna kick my potential cold out of my life before it actually gets here so we'll have to see and I'll keep you updated but we are finally catching up on laundry. We just have so much laundry to do. I think we finally washed it all. Now it's just the worst part. I don't even mind folding laundry, but the bringing it all upstairs and putting it all away will be the death of me. Zeke's first birthday outfit. I was scared to wash it because I was scared that the red was gonna bleed um, into other clothes, but it didn't. So quality 10 out of 10. I love this thing. It's so, so stinking cute. It was a hit. Everybody loved it. Loved, loved it. Even though he's only gonna wear it one day of his life, it was worth it. His first birthdays are just so special. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up this laundry. Probably gonna rest a little bit until Kiko gets home. Maybe get ready a little because I clearly need to do something about this look. And then Kiko leaves tomorrow for work. He only works two days this time, which is good. Last time he worked three, and I was actually dead by the time he got home. Like, Zeke is just literally a toddler now, and he is so fun, but so exhausting. <laughs> like, I don't mean to complain, but it's just like reality of solo momming for three days straight. It's not easy, but I'm so blessed and like grateful and there's no other way that I'd rather have it than me being able to stay home with him, no matter how hard it is, so. Everything is folded. We have one more load drying right now and then we'll be caught up on laundry, which is the most amazing feeling ever. There's a bunch of stuff over here that I need to get rid of, or not get rid of, but find a place for. So LaCroix always sends over the coolest PR packages. So they sent their new mojito flavor along with this drink making kit, which is so cool. We're not big drinkers in this house, but to have it for like hosting and stuff will be cool. Or my dad loves making drinks and stuff when they host or my sister too so i might gift it to one of them but i think it's the cutest thing ever so in the gold seek's little first year sign we're gonna hang this in his room eventually but for now we don't know where else to put it so it's just right here and then a bunch of zeke's leftover party decor i'm thinking of like just keeping all this and selling it 
on like Facebook Marketplace because none of this is used and like I get if no one wants to buy straws, but they're literally not even touched. Hopefully someone will be down. We have all these. We'll probably keep these little party hats for future parties, but like every, all the themed stuff, like all of these race car plates, brand new, not even touched. So I might sell it as a little set, but we'll see about that. You know how much I rave about the brand Piglet in bed for bedding? And I obviously got a new sheet set. So I know you're thinking that's a lot of color and honestly don't know how to feel about it because same. But when I got it, you can like build bundles on there to save money. So when I picked these out, I wasn't thinking I'm going to use them together. I thought well I can save the pink for like summer or spring because it's really cute and like pair it with my white comforter and then vice versa pair this green stripe comforter with like white sheets but when I got it all I just put it all on the bed so that's why my bed looks like a watermelon right now like Barney and watermelon but I'm kind of digging it I've been loving color obviously but seriously they have the best linen bedding ever literally ever I will never never go to a different brand of bedding i'm obsessed okay now for my getting ready i'm literally just gonna slick back my hair in a little bun and then probably put on a tiny bit of makeup i don't love to wear makeup but it does make me feel a little more awake and like put together and alive so we're gonna do that okay i just threw my hair up in a bun and honestly it's really tight it might give me a headache later <laughs> so hopefully not i'm gonna throw in some of this day styling cream and i just use this too Make sure all my baby hairs are down because, oh my gosh, my postpartum hair regrowth is literally so funny. Not even just right here anymore. Now it's like down here and it's just, it's everywhere and I don't know how to handle it. Okay, I'm in the middle of doing my makeup, but I'm trying to learn how to do like a quick five minute less than five minute like no makeup makeup look especially being a mom you don't always have time to sit and do your makeup as much as you want and like i'm fine with that i don't like wearing a lot of makeup anyways i feel like on days when i don't have help and like when keiko is not home with me i just don't do my makeup i don't really get ready because i feel like i don't have time when i do have time i just need to make time to do it so i'm just trying to figure out a quick super super easy routine and i think i've done it i think with the part that's like the most annoying is my mascara maybe because i do primer and then actual mascara but also it just takes the longest and if i had lash extensions again i'd be so happy but also i don't know if i could commit to doing that again because one the upkeep was a lot too often for me for my liking it was also expensive and also they would kind of bug me sometimes so i don't think i would ever get them again but the convenience of having them was a plus. And like feeling confident without having to do your makeup every day, that was a plus also. But I turned the camera on not to talk about makeup, to talk about my mom because today, her last day of radiation, if you're new, she had um, stage three breast cancer, which was a huge thing and a big shock for everybody. But also it's been months and months and months now and she just finished treatment today and it's such a happy thing and i know she's watching this because she watches all my videos and she's gonna be like lauren stop giving me attention but it's just so happy and my brother just sent this video of her ringing the bell <laughs> and it makes me want to cry because i'm so happy that she's done with all of that because it was so so much for her to go through i already know and i'm just very very proud of her and i love her so much and i she's literally so strong and can get through anything and praise god that she is done with her treatment someone's awake <laughs> say good morning the boy who's been taking two and a half hour naps took an hour nap so i was caught a little off guard when he woke up but i literally just finished my makeup right when he woke up so that was Great timing. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today has been so long already because Zeke, okay, every time that Keiko leaves for work, which is only once or twice a week, obviously, because he is gone for multiple days, but he leaves at like 5.30 and Zeke wakes up 
every time not even because Keiko is like being loud and waking him up Zeke literally I feel like he just knows that Keiko is leaving and he wakes up so he's been awake since 5 40 this morning and would not go back down so we just decided to get up and we chilled in his room for literally like an hour then I finally got ready a little bit and we just got downstairs and it is 7 20 so we've had a really really slow chill morning yay which I love and which are my favorites. And if there's no reason to rush our morning, I'm not going yeah. to. He has his favorite toy, which is his first birthday balloon that still has some helium in it. We're just gonna have another chill day today. So today's Wednesday, Kiko comes back on Friday. So we have a couple days and they literally have zero plans these next couple days, which I will probably regret because I always wanna have plans while he's gone. And I just haven't made any yet, but we'll make some and see how our days go. <laughs> I'm gonna feed Rocco really quick. Zeke loves to be a part of feeding time, and I'm just gonna add the same little skin treats into his bowl also. Jesus name. Mm. Ah. Amen. Say amen. Alright, breakfast is served. Hello. 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 <laughs> I have hash brown, strawberries, chicken sausage, and a sourdough that I got at the farmer's market that's so good. Zeke has frozen waffle, chicken sausage, and yogurt. And that's his go-to breakfast, huh? And we're running some errands today, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to vlog and end it because... Hey, baby. Say hi. We have to go. Well, I want to go get coffee, first of all. I don't know where I'm going yet, but somewhere drive through we went to go get Zeke milk the other day, which you saw, but they didn't have any. They're out of stock of the whole milk. So I don't know if I want to go back there and risk them not having it again. They also have it on Amazon Fresh Whole Foods. So I think we're just going to do that and order it. Hi! Order it to have it delivered later today. And then go from there. We'll probably go get coffee. We need to go to Target and just run a couple teeny tiny errands my super casual fit for today Ella t-shirt and old navy cargo pants i love it oh, excuse me little boy yeah this little toddler oh my gosh can't take my eyes off him for a second Daddy. yeah you we need to get a, a baby gate for upstairs asap because any second he gets he tries to curl the top of the stairs, which is stressful. So anytime we're in his room, we have to close the door. And then I can't even like put him on the floor in our room because he can just get to the stairs super fast. I feel like kind of a bum in this outfit, but it's okay, right? Packing him a banana for a snack. Okay, you ready? Bye-bye. Book kissy. Mwah. Book kissy. No. Look at me. Good job. Okay, I have like abs the absolute worst car situation to place my camera. But there's a couple Amazon packages waiting that I wanted to open because they're perfect for this. I'm not going to open it yet, but this. I got some things to organize my car because it is chaos in here and it drives me crazy every single time I'm in here. So I got a little bin for the back to organize all of Zeke's stuff, like put all his toys in at the end of each car ride, some diapers, all that stuff. And then I got the famous little um, goo stuff to clean up, which I'm excited for. And then lastly, the famous mini car trash bin that goes in your cup holder, which I'm about to bust out right now because I'm excited about this to put just like straw wrappers, Zeke's um, random snack, empty wrappers and everything. I'm excited. It's gonna come in handy so much. So I think first we're gonna stop by coffee. I also wanna stop by a gas station to throw away all this trash because there's a lot of trash in here. And then we're gonna go to Target. So that's the plan. I will let you guys know when I know <laughs> where we're going for coffee, which I probably should have decided before. Okay, y'all, we decided on Better Buzz for coffee. Coffee, are you gonna order for me? Hello? Hello? Oh, did you wanna order some more? Um, no, that was it. Oh, no worries, it'll be at the window, okay? Thank you. Thank you. 
She went silent for like two minutes and I didn't know what to do. So that was awkward. Okay, you guys, like I said, I decided on Butter Buzz. I got, okay, complicated order a little bit. Like not really, but it was a mouthful to order. Salted toffee latte, with oat milk, half sweet, half calf, extra ice. And it's pretty good, hitting the spot for my wanting to get coffee out today. So I got this new chili crunch wrap, which looks so good. It's like a breakfast wrap, but it's 12 o'clock. Bye-bye. So I'm excited to eat this because it has this like chili aioli sauce in it. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, we're back home. I've like been so bad at vlogging because I've taken such a big like break from it. I just forget now. And I need to get back into like getting into the habit of filming and stuff when I'm out because I've gotten so used to just being out and not pulling on my camera. So I genuinely just forget now when I'm out, even when I have the intentions to film. We got coffee, which I showed you, and then we went to Target and Hobby Lobby. And I got a few things um, for Easter and like for Easter baskets for Zeke and stuff. And then a couple other random things that I'll show you in a little bit. But then we got home and Zeke fell asleep in the car so I just let him nap. And we sat in the car for like 45 minutes or something while he napped. This is way earlier than he normally naps. But since he woke up at 5.30 today. <laughs> feeding him a pouch really quick. Because he was snacking a lot while we were out so. I'm not gonna make him a full, full meal lunch yet because he's not that hungry. Are you all done? <laughs> Are you all done? Okay, we're here with my little errands haul. So let's start with Target. Okay, also from Target, I got another lamp for our nightstand, for Kiko's nightstand, because I have one on mine. Oh, yeah. He's been asking for one for a while, and I only got one before, so now I got him one, and they're matching. It's just like the black base one from Target, um, which I love, but it's still in the trunk, because I wasn't going to bring it in. Okay, first off, I've been eyeing these linen pants. They're so, so cute. It's by the A New Day brand, and they're really, really stretchy. And it'll be comfortable for summer and spring and beach days and stuff like that. I think it'll be really cute. And I'm excited to style these. I got a few things for Zeke's Easter basket. This might be the only thing in there, though. Just some bubbles, which are super cute. What are you doing? I saw these hand towels for spring. Thought they were so cute. This one is adorable. I also got Zeke's first little... Contigo water bottle. All my nieces and nephews used these ones at one point and I think they're so cute. I'm finally drinking out of like straw cups and stuff. I really wanted to get him one and this one's adorable. It's just green and blue. Cute little spring colors. It says it's ages three plus, but I'm not sure why. The water might come out kind of fast, but we'll see. We'll see if he likes it. Restock of body wash. We use the Method Body Simply Nourish body wash. I needed a new razor because I've had the Billy razor for literally like five years. And I finally ran out of replacement blades because I was on a subscription with them and then I canceled it when I moved from my apartment and I never re um like switched it over to this new house. New house, we've been here for over a year now. So I just decided, decided to get one that I can buy at the store. This is the flamingo one. I don't know how good it is. Handle. <laughs> what are you doing behind me? Are you pulling my hair? <laughs> are you Pulling my hair. He literally has food all over his shirt now. Hopefully it doesn't stain. Okay, and then I got this little carrot garland. I wanted to put it in Zeke's room and hang it above his mirror. And I think it's <laughs> but it'll be cute for like spring and Easter and stuff. I probably won't decorate for like spring until next month because I'm pretty sure it's still winter, but correct me if I'm wrong. I got these frozen meatballs because Zeke loves these. We just went through a whole bag. They're chicken meatballs with a blend of veggies and they have 10 grams of protein in them. Well, per serving, so that's always good. No artificial, nothing. Chicken, onion, celery, carrots. Pretty good ingredients overall and he loves them. So whenever I need to add like a quick protein to any of his meals, I always go for these because he'll always eat them. You gonna hold it? Okay. And then lastly, some cuties because I think it'd be a good snack for him um, because he hasn't really had any like yet. Hey, you're so cute. I love you. 
Now moving on to Hobby Lobby. Really went for this because I have one of these already and I've been wanting to get a second branch for a long time. I just love this artificial branch. I think it looks so real and I love the color of the green and just, it doesn't really look like fake plant, you know? And then I just gotta pick a couple things for this Easter basket, little bunny ears, some plastic Easter eggs that we can hide around the house, which I'm so excited for. This little chick chick toy. This thing he was laughing at in the store, so I had to get it. It's kind of gross. It's like those like rubbery toys, but it's like he thought it was so funny. And then just a cute little white basket. Oh, I also picked these up from Target that he was eating them. We love the Serenity Kids. Okay. Excuse me. We would choose Serenity Kids puffs over these ones, but they didn't have any at Target. So we decided to go with the Happy Baby ones, which are like our second favorite. Not as good of ingredients as Serenity Kids, but yeah. still a good choice. What is that? What do you have? Is that your branch? Is that your branch? He stands so well now, you guys. And he was taking steps yesterday. He was taking a bunch of steps. He took like eight at once. When Kiko was home, that's how he says, come here. Say, come here, Rocco. Come here, Rocco. Where's Rocco? Where's Rocco? Where's Rocco? Come here, Rocco. He sees him. <laughs> You're so cute. The last time I did a haul, you guys, in one of my vlogs, I got some hate for it. And it was a little, I don't know how to feel about it because, okay, let's go get the bags. Because some people live for the hauls in the videos and some people, I guess, are not fans. Which I totally get it because I know that not everyone wants to see shopping hauls. If you're not at a place in your life where you can go shopping and just get random things. Um, so I obviously, if I guess to meet the needs of both of these preferences, I'll put a little skip to this point at the start of my hauls now if you don't want to watch it because I know some people do want to watch it so I don't want to completely cut them out for people who like the I personally love seeing hauls especially random hauls like that but that just might be me huh <laughs> you're so cute okay I'm gonna go get the Whole Foods bags and I'll show you what we picked up okay okay that was definitely a workout in itself. One of these bags has two gallons of milk in it, or two half gallons. Oh, okay, quick Whole Foods haul. Two Zeke's milk, Maple, Maple Hill Organic Whole Milk. I actually forgot that I got these when I got the ones at Target. So now we have Serenity Kids Puffs too, which I'm very happy about. Dr. Prager's, I like this brand. Um, I've only tried their like Broccoli Littles, and Zeke honestly didn't love them. So I wanted to try these, Cauliflower Broccoli Veggie Fries. And then we've got the organic chicken nuggets um, by Applegate for Zeke too. I think those would be easy for easy meals, along with the meatballs that he already likes. And then just some frozen waffles, which he really loves for breakfast. And that's all. Small Whole Foods haul because obviously Whole Foods is very expensive, but I needed the milk and I wasn't just gonna buy milk. So I decided to add on a few other things. So. Are you sitting like a big boy? Oh my goodness, are you sitting? You are so strong, you know that? So strong! Wow, look at you! Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye! Bye-bye! What do you want to do for the rest of the day, Zeke? We got a whole day ahead of us. It's only 2.20, so... What do you want to do today? Hello. Zeke is down for bed. It is 7.01. I feel so accomplished right now and so relieved. He's had a long day of like not napping really, so we're just taking really short naps and like really weird naps. So I'm praying he's back on his sleep schedule tonight and sleeps past 5.30 or else we're in for another strange day. But I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen, wash some dishes, and then probably head upstairs and take a shower. And then I have been loving acai bowls lately, like make your own acai bowls because we got the acai sorbet from Costco and it's so good. It's literally my favorite acai base ever. So I'm probably gonna make one of those. So I'll probably show you that. And then I'm gonna get in bed and edit because since it's been so long since I've edited, I kind of miss it. 
and I'm like really excited to actually edit this video. So while I should be catching up on sleep and resting, I'm gonna be editing, but I'm like really excited too. So I'm gonna wash these dishes and then we're gonna head upstairs and get ready for bed. Okay, I'm watching a TikTok live because <laughs> it was on while I was in the shower. But now I'm about to make my bowl. So I just wanted to show you the ingredients really quickly and then I'll show you the finished product. But I used this acai. Like I said, it's the best. Also, I've been obsessed with this granola, the Purely Elizabeth original one. I don't like it like on its own, but in acai bowls, some just plain peanut butter and then I have a white peach. Fruit varies every time. Sometimes I do a bunch of different fruit. Sometimes I do one fruit. Today I'm just feeling this one. So probably just gonna do this. And maybe a banana, I haven't decided yet, but I will show you the finished product once I am done. Okay, honestly it doesn't look very appetizing because I covered it in <laughs> the white peaches, but so good. And I decided to skip on the peanut butter just because I wasn't feeling it and I really didn't want to scoop it in here. So yeah, that is the dessert of the night. And my mouth is drooling. All right, I am in bed now. I'm about to start editing. It is 7.54, <sighs> so... Let's see how long this takes, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm so happy to be back. I hope you're glad too. Make sure you comment down below so we can chat, and I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Uh -huh.